Hello, welcome to my WordPress tutorial channel. If you are looking for useful WordPress plugin information or want to know how to use it, please subscribe to my channel. I am going to introduce useful plugin for your WordPress website. Today, let me introduce if menu. This plugin gives you options, show or hide a specific menu according to conditions. For instance, the menu output can be changed according to the login or log on status. Let's get started. Go to the plugin menu and click the add new button. Search for the if menu. Install the if menu visible control plugin. Activate it, and go to the menu under Appearance. We are going to set the menu. The About menu will be displayed only when the user logs in. And the Pricing menu to be visible when the user is not logged in. Expand the About menu and check Enable Visible Control at bottom. Check this and choose Sign In. In the same way, after selecting the pricing menu, select Sign In. This time press left side Show Selection box and change to Hide. After save the menu, let's go to the front end website and check it out. We expect the pricing menu will not be visible when you are currently logged in. After logging out, the pricing menu is displayed and the about menu is invisible. It works just as we intended it to. We have done. Fine. Change the options depending on your needs. Let's apply this option to the logout menu. As you can see, you only need to set it to be visible when user logged in. Let's create a post under the name of a single post. This post will be set to be displayed only on the home page. Create a post. And add it to the menu. Let me set this post menu to be displayed only on the home page. Go to the front end and check. It works well. This plugin also provides a function to show the menu according to the user role. We can set the portfolio not to show the menu to the administrator. This works fine as well. And it is also possible to set two or more conditions in combination. Let's change options to the contact menu. This menu will be displayed only when the administrator accesses the home page. In this way, it can be set by combining multiple and or conditions.
Let's check it on the front end. It works as expected. Lastly, I checked through the speed test site how much this plugin affects the speed of this website. It is a lightweight plugin and had little effect. I tested separately plugin activation state and deactivation state. Almost no difference between enabling or disabling the plugin. When the plugin is activated, you can see that only one CSS file is added. Using this plugin doesn't seem to affect your site's responsiveness. Please subscribe and like. Thanks for watching.